Okay, okay. I have to admit, Pauline Amelinx was my bet to win Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Unfortunately, it was not yet her time. I believe this gorgeous and very outspoken Boholana will someday have the chance to represent our country in the future. She has a lot of potential to make it big on the world stage. Now, do you know that our Miss Universe Philippines 2019 Gazini Ganados lost to her in a local pageant? Interesting, right? Well, I'm gonna tell you more interesting stuff about Pauline Amelix, so you better sit tight and watch till the end. And of course, don't forget to like this video, click subscribe and hit that bell button to get updated. This is Gia2. Let's begin. Number 1. Pauline Amelix was born on August 26, 1996 to a Belgian father and a Filipino mother. So as of making this video, she is now 24 years old and stands 5 feet 6 inches tall. Her zodiac sign is Virgo. Number 2. She graduated from Cebu Doctors University in Mandawi City with a degree in International Studies. She majored in European Studies. Number 3. In 2017, she represented Barangay Tubigon in Miss Bohol. She won the Miss Bohol 2017 and lo and behold, the first runner-up was Gazini Ganados who went on to become Binibini Pilipinas Universe 2019. She competed in the Muchana Pilipinas on September 16, 2018 of which she won the title as Muchana Pilipinas Global Beauty Queen 2018. She was supposed to represent the Philippines to Miss Global Beauty Queen, which would have been her first international beauty pageant, but it was cancelled due to the tension in the Middle East at that time. Number 5. In 2019, she was appointed as an ambassador of Yellow Boat Hope, a foundation that works in improving children's access to education. And this brings us to number 6 because through this foundation, Pauline launched a campaign called Hope in a Box during the COVID-19 lockdown. She donated boxes that contained coloring books, face masks, powdered milk, and fruits to children in Bohol. Number 7. She is a professional runway model and worked with several designers including Mikey Andre. Number 8. She is also connected with CWC Interiors in Taguig City. Number 9. She is an advocate for the use of art in helping raise awareness to environmental protection among children. One of the many ways of her expressing this advocacy is through doodle art. Doodle art is a fun way to draw beautiful and original designs with cute and childlike characters or random and abstract patterns. And these are Pauline's doodle artworks. And number 10 was the video that circulated online which melted the hearts of everyone. I even got teary-eyed while I was watching it. The video was the public video call to her family and supporters in Bohol apologizing for not winning the crown. But everyone really thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. I wasn't able to bring up the crown. Pauline was definitely one of the front runners to win the crown of Miss Universe Philippines 2020 and even bagging four awards in the competition's preliminary stage. But then again, as I have mentioned, it was not yet her time. I am actually looking forward to seeing her represent her country in Miss Universe, Miss World or Miss International. So there you have it. I hope you learned something. 
thank you so much for sticking around. And again, please like this video, click subscribe and hit that bell button to get updated because I will be uploading fresh out of the box tidbits from your favorite newsmakers every week. Bye for now. This is GeoTube. I would like to choose the word pohon. It means hopefully. It's a word that we use whenever we talk about something that is going to happen in the future. Like, I'm going to join Miss Universe Philippines, pohon, hopefully, with God's blessing.